Mr. Speaker, just yesterday, Ghana Water Company appeared before Public Accounts Committee and suggested that the cost of treating water is going higher and higher. Mr. Speaker, I don't think we should discuss this matter. We should just deal with it. Mr. Speaker, can there be a human right issue bigger than somebody who is trying to take away your source of water? So when we hear people talk about human rights in every other uh, uh, facet of our life, but forget to talk about the fact that those who are gradually trying to pollute the water. Mr. Speaker, if we do this successfully, apart from the fact that it would have taken away a major source of drinking water, potable water in this country, our fish source, even the Akosombo Dam, and how do you call it, uh, uh, the, 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 the lower water one, are in jeopardy. Mr. Speaker, we shouldn't actually discuss this in the way that we have been discussing other issues in the past. I think those responsible to deal with this must not only flush those individuals out, but look for them, Mr. Speaker, they are not going to go away. I listened to my good friend, Honorable Yabuama, talk about some unpatriotic human beings would be engaged in uh, Galamse and I also also go and stand or sit on radio and television talking about the menace of Galamse. So if you are in this house, you are outside of the house, you are part of those who are engaged in Galamse. Yet, when we are discussing Galamse, you also get up and talk about it. You should be ashamed. Mr. Speaker, Galamse, as we know, is not merely poor people's engagement because the equipment and things that are used to do Galamse, Mr. Speaker, we are told are expensive. So it's not the poor people in my village or your village, Mr. Speaker, who are the, the real problems causing Galamse. In fact, the guys we saw on the water lake in the picture that our colleague have shown were using a kind of equipment. Those equipment are not 10 cities. They are probably hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars. Somebody in this country is paying for those things. Who are those people? Is the government national security saying that they don't know those people who buy these machines? In any case, Mr. Speaker, those machines are not produced in the corner of uh, Kukumpe or uh, some magazine. They are important to this country. So how is it not possible for government to trace those who import these machines into the country? I don't believe government doesn't know those behind this because these machines come with an identity. So if somebody imports a machine and you find that machine on the black water, you should be able to trace and punish those people. Otherwise, you'll be reading statements here and every day pretending that we want to solve a problem. Mr. Speaker, as for the water leak, if we manage to pollute it, we must as well all start buying coffin for ourselves because if that source of water goes, we will all probably follow the next day.